What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode, I wanna teach you how to create a really fun slide over, pop in, pop out menu effect. We're gonna be doing this inside of Figma today. We're gonna to be exploring some really cool features inside of Figma, like interactive components, smart animate, easing timing, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So with all that being said, let's get started. All right, I have my Figma file open and I already have a few elements in my file. You can see that I have a menu closed and a menu open version of my design. Uh, so the idea would be that we would click on our navigation item here and then this entire screen is gonna animate down over and kind of halfway off the screen while our navigation will actually animate out and into place. And I already have a very simple interactive component created. It's a simple menu icon that once clicked will transition over to be a X to close button and then back and forth. You can see that in play when we bring our prototype out and just kind of see it in action. So that's the first thing that we have going. It's a really simple interactive component. If you don't know how to make interactive components, you're basically gonna create a component and a variant, and then you're gonna head over to prototype, wire them up, and use the change to function once you've set the trigger. So we have that all set up, that's looking really good. Now we need to figure out how to create our menu closed and menu open. We could do this in a lot of different ways, but I'm gonna use the interactive component method. And so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete our open screen because I actually have all of those same elements in this first artboard, you'll see inside of my layers i have my menu icon there i also have something called home screen it's a frame that's actually inside of my other frame and when i grab that and move that you can see i have all of my menu items just like i did before kind of tucked in behind then i have that shadow and i have that navigation exactly where i want them to be so the first thing i'm going to do is create a duplicate of this and I'm gonna go ahead and find my home screen that's there. I'm gonna hit K for scale. I'm gonna scale down my screen. And I'm gonna move that in place right where I want it, something like that. And I'm gonna change the name to this to menu open. And then with both of these selected, I'm gonna create multiple components and I'm gonna combine as a variant. So now we have multiple components that have been combined into this variant and I have variant one, variant two. Our component is now called component one. Let's rename it to be called slide menu. And then once we have that done, we can come inside and see we have property one, menu closed, property one, menu open. Now, if you wanna rename that so it doesn't just say property one, all we have to do is double click on the layer in the variant here, and we can put something like state. We just wanna make sure that we copy that to both of those instances or both of those variants. Now you can see over here we have state, menu open, or state, menu closed, all right? So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and set our trigger, but let's fix one more thing really quickly. Once we head over here, we actually wanna change this one to the second variant in its interactive component. And with that done, we should be able to just head over to prototype, grab our menu, and then wire over and say on click, we wanna to change to menu open and we wanna smart animate. Let's do something like ease in and out in 500 milliseconds. And then once we've done that, why don't we grab our X to close. We'll go back using all of the same settings inside of our prototyping uh, settings. And then the last thing we probably need to do is come back over to design and just give a little bit of flair to our menu. So why don't we do this? Why don't we stagger our menu in uh, we'll move from the bottom and just stagger these out a whole bunch. Just like that. And then we can take the entire nav and just push that off or close to the side. Let's bring this thing back right into place. And now when we check our prototype, it's not going to work because we don't have anything set up yet. Let's head over to our assets panel and we should be able to see our slide menu. We'll pull that out. Let's just press play and see if we can get our prototype to work. Now, by tapping our menu icon, everything's gonna slide over and then slide back. We're getting 
the animation from our little X to close and our hamburger menu. We're getting our home screen to actually slide down, animate over into place. And all of our navigation items are actually staggering in and out and they're happening really, really smooth. Now from here, you can go in and you can play with the easing if you wanted to. Um, we could create a custom easing. You do in, out, and back, which will add just a little bit of that um, kind of shake or bump to it when things come in and out. So it's kind of zooming and kind of inhaling and exhaling as it goes. So all of these are fun and interesting ways, and you can tailor this to your liking, but that's a really simple and easy way to create that fun slide in and out technique using Figma, interactive components, and smart anime. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and Figma tutorials just like this one. So maybe stick around by hitting that subscribe button, that thumbs up, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope that you're using all of these amazing design tools that we have to your benefit to blow people's minds. See you in the next one.